In this scenario, John bought a five-year bond from another investor, and he intends to hold the bond until maturity, which means there will be no chance of a capital gain or loss until that time. The scenario says he paid $500 in accrued interest and received $900 in interest at the end of the year from the bond issuer. You are being asked what his tax liability would look like. One quick nugget of knowledge will position us well to tackle this question. Nugget number one, understand why the buyer of a bond pays accrued interest to the seller. An example will clarify. Let's assume I own a bond that pays interest once a year on December 31st. If I sold the bond to you in November, on the next interest payment date, you would get the full interest payment as the new owner. That obviously wouldn't be fair to me, so we would calculate the unpaid accrued interest up until the date I own the bond, and we add that to the purchase price, knowing on December 31st, you will receive the full year's interest payment, which would be more than the accrued interest you paid to me. That's what happened in this scenario. John paid the seller $500 in accrued interest when he bought the bond. And at the end of the year, he received $900 in interest from the issuer of the bond. As you can see, John only gained $400 in interest, and that is what he would be required to report and pay tax on. We select that answer, and we are correct.